Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm memory keeping the week of June 13th through the 19th. Lots of things happened this week. I've got tons of pictures to include, which I'm really excited about, and a beautiful kit to work with. So this is To the Moon by Letters to Apollo. Just so beautiful. Like, top 10 most beautiful kits I've ever seen. I'm so excited to use this. Here are the nine full boxes here with gold foil, no rose gold, sorry, <laughs> and some boxes down here. We've got some functional things to work with here, some date covers. I'm gonna have to dig out some foil to use this week. Beautiful bottom washi, just like, I'm just obsessed with this kit. It's so pretty, tons of headers. I think I wanna use these and lots of boxes to work with as well. Beautiful foiling, not too much. So pretty. All right, so I think we're ready to get into it. This was a great week and I'm excited to memory keep it. I'm gonna begin with the bottom washi. It comes in two strips, so I'm gonna put down the skinny strip first. I did pull out some more foil too because I wanna add a little bit more rose gold foil to everything because this kit is just kind of special. It's beautiful. Then we're going to move on to the headers and the date covers. So I'm just kind of going through my date numbers to see which one that I like the best. And I decided to go with this like solid circle one because it kind of has that same shape as the moons throughout the spread. So I think it goes really well. And of course, I misnumbered and put them on the wrong days. But that was an easy fix with some undo really quickly. So I'm going to pull in some headers. I decided to go with the floral ones. There were quite a few options here and I really wanted to use the ones in the bottom with like the moon phases and stuff, but I'm going to pull some of those in a little bit later with like throughout the spread instead of as headers. So just putting in the headers first so I have a good solid line of where to put in the day covers. And because there's no deco with this kit, there's usually not with like these kinds of kits. I am going to go ahead and white out the dates on the page and pop up the headers just a little bit to fill the space so that it's not like too, there's not too much white space up there, if that makes sense. So I just like the look of that. So whenever I am using just date covers, I will go ahead and white out and place them kind of in the middle of that space. Then we're gonna open up the spread and go to the sidebar and put in some full boxes and things. So first I'm gonna put in this beautiful quote box that says to the moon and never back. So pretty. And then putting one at the bottom of that column as well. I use my sidebar for journaling and for just additional like general info. I like to just kind of keep it different every week, but I always put in a box for my favorite moment and I try to put in like a this week header or something like that. Then I'm putting in the full boxes. I'm putting them in their normal spots for a week that doesn't have double boxes. So Tuesday and Thursday is always down at the bottom, Sunday usually as well, and then Wednesday and Friday are up top and then I fit in the middle on Mondays and Saturdays. So going to the day by day plans, I'm going ahead and putting in my thumbnails for my videos. If I don't do this at the beginning, then I always forget and then they don't have a space. So I like to put those in first and then going back to Monday, I'm gonna start with, um, on the 13th, a little label here to mark in that I had breakfast with my brother-in-law and sister. This was their closing day, so I have a cute little picture of them in front of their first house that they're owning, and just put, used another little label to mark that they closed on their house, got the keys and everything, and then put in the full box there, which is so pretty. You can't really see the foil unless I move the planner, but it's so, so pretty. On this scallop box I put in that we went to dinner at 575 and Bun Noodle. We just ate out like all day because I was like showing them around town and these are some of my favorite places. So it was fun to take them to those. I love Fun Noodle. They have like dumplings and we had all kinds of stuff. It was delicious. On the 14th, I helped with their move, not so much. <laughs> they hired some firefighters to come and move pretty much everything, and then we started unpacking like the boxes. So I didn't actually have to lift much, 
which is good, <laughs> getting older, but it was good to uh, help them out that day. Just kind of keep my sister calm. She gets a little overwhelmed, and she was that day, so that was good. And then um, we went to eat at one of my favorite places ever, which I went twice this week, Butter Love. They have, like, they specialize in biscuits, and this day was, what I had was a, like, a biscuit sandwich with a fried green tomato and bacon. It's called the Hissy Fit. It's so good. It has green onions. It's just delicious. And then we went back over to their house and started building the bunk beds for my nephews. <laughs> and it was quite the chore. I put in here never again because it was awful. It was so hard and like, it was just a lot of work. And we were already tired from like the move and stuff. So it was just, it was a lot. Um, but we got it done. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, I went with my friend Kat on a walk around her neighborhood with her pups. We do this every week during the summer or we try to make the time to, and it's just a way for us to stay connected and like just kind of, uh, you know, keep in touch over the summer. Teachers kind of scatter during the summer, which is good. You get time away, but for us, like that's something that we've done for years and it's good. And then I was also helping my sister unpack her, um, I think we were doing the kitchen this day, but we were doing just all of the necessities, like we were getting all of that in its place before the boys came. And then we were also just like, I put a note in here, we were prepping for family to come in the next day. So again, just trying to get her house in order for the boys to come home. They were staying with my parents, our parents. <laughs> and I just put in a Fox and Pip sticker here that's um, to signify that I was so incredibly tired. I can't imagine how tired they were, but I definitely was tired. <laughs> so I put in that cute little sticker. I found this um, little paper and milk sticker to mark in prepping for family. I also kind of got my house together because my parents were staying with me. On Thursday, I did a live work class. I don't get to do the live classes very often. Sometimes they're like in the middle of the morning. But when I can, they're so fun because you like feel like you're there and you can like comment and everything. So it was really fun to do that on Thursday morning. It was just time for me to just like check out for an hour and have a little fun. And then I have this picture of my dad with his dog who he loves and I love. It's the sweetest dog ever. Her name is Olive and she's a little brown lab. So of course all the dogs were coming <laughs> to stay. And so I just thought that was a really cute picture. Um, and I put a note underneath that picture that my dad seems like he feels so much better. He's been going through everything with just his body. He had a hip replacement. He had back surgery. Just a lot. And he's like a new person now. It's crazy. Um, it was also my nephew's birthday. He turned five. So my mom made him this cake with like bugs. It was really cute. It was like in a flower pot. And it had all these like gummy animals. It was really, really cute. And I used a little Coffee Monsters Co. sticker with the cake to mark in that. On Friday morning, I had a workshop that I had to go to. It was already on my schedule and I had to go to it because it's about our new testing, like the standardized testing. So I've had this picture with my friend Holly that my other friend Amber took of us. And so I wanted to put that in there because it was like a cute picture of us. And we had a lot of fun, even though it was not fun but it was good to see them. We had lunch together. It was good. Um, before that though, I went for a walk with my mom. We just had some alone time and just like kind of just chatted for like the 45 minutes that we were out walking, which is really good. We went to dinner at Blue Sky, which has burgers. They're so good. I hadn't been there in a long time. I just don't think to go there. And so it was nice to go have a little family dinner. Um, I also helped my sister get her office set up. She's self-employed. She's a freelance editor. So she needed to get her stuff like set up so she could get back to work. So I helped her get her office all situated, which turned out really cute. And here I'm pulling in a Pumpkin Paper Co. Girl, which that shop's no longer open. And a, I grabbed a sticker I'll use in just a minute. So I love this kit so much. It's so beautiful. I love the colors and the florals. It's just like a favorite kit for sure. Top 10, I would say. On Saturday, it was like a bittersweet day. It was um, 
a day where we said goodbye to my friend Amber, who I've been sharing an office with forever, and we are friends, and we just got together. We were able to, like, all come together at one of our favorite restaurants and just hang out. Like, we just sat around and talked and laughed, and it was just such a good night. We hung out at the restaurant for quite a while. We had a little patio space, and then we went across the street to this like fancy restaurant but they have a speakeasy down in the basement so we got into the speakeasy and we were trying to get into the secret room in the back where you like pull a book from the bookshelf and it like comes open anyway they told us we couldn't go in <laughs> I don't know what was going on back there but it was a really really fun time and I'm really glad that we had that memory and these pictures together. Unfortunately, it was like getting dark and the pictures are super blurry, but you can kind of like see, you get the gist. Plus I got to wear out a cute little dress that I had um, ordered from Stitch Fix. It was adorable. Can't wait to wear it again. And at the very top was a picture of me and Olive because I just love that dog. She's so sweet. On Sunday, it was Father's Day and we were actually together with my father, all of us, which was great. So I have a picture of me with my sisters, with my dad, and then this cute picture of my dad and mom with my nephews. It's so cute. I love it. I put it on my fridge. Just adorable. And we went to Butter Love again because they have a fantastic brunch and it was delicious. I had the Eggs Benedict on a biscuit. So good. Um, I was so worn out and peopled out on Sunday night though like I got in my pajamas early and like just chilled because I was so tired and worn out and just like socially couldn't take anymore. Um, I also am fitting in some of those headers like I mentioned. They're so pretty. I wish I would have put more in like as I built the spread but it just it didn't happen. So journaling here is such a busy and exhausting week but so fulfilling and fun too. I'm grateful for the quality family time especially with my dad. I'm lucky to have him healthy. I definitely wanted to remember this week and like how good he felt and how much fun we had. And then my favorite moment was definitely my time with Amber. I'm gonna get like choked up right now, but um, it was just such a good, good like night, all of us being together and just very special. So just to finish off the spread, I'm grabbing a few more like little foiled pieces to add to the spread. So. Definitely wanted to add some hearts. I love those pictures. Like, the just really special. This spread is very special. Like, lots of good memories. I can't believe I'm, like, about to cry. <laughs> but anyway, so this spread is not only beautiful, but definitely, like, means a lot. And when I look back on this week, I will look back fondly and, like, I don't know. It just, it's pretty and also means so much. Okay, anyway, I'm rambling. Let's finish up the rest of this. I'm adding in a few more bows and I wanted to add in some like little shapes and things just to kind of fill out the spread and make it pop just a little bit more because like as I was building it, I did like recognize how special it was. So just wanted to add a little bit more and it looks so, so pretty. I just love this so much. I can't say enough about it. Here is this week all finished. It turned out so beautiful. Exceeded my expectations. I just love it. And this week was so good. I'm happy to have this spread to look back on. I hope that you enjoyed this memory plan with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.